Basically, the kernel determines what kinds of functions we can represent. Let me show you three important kernels one by one. First, let's look at the RBF kernel, also called the squared exponential kernel, which gives us beautiful smooth functions that vary gradually with sharp changes, where points that are close together are highly correlated, while points that are far apart have almost no influence on each other. The formula is k of x and x prime equals sigma squared times e to the negative absolute value of x minus x prime squared divided by 2 times i squared. This kernel works perfectly when you expect your underlying function to be smooth and continuous. Now, let's look at the periodic kernel. This one produces interesting cyclical patterns where all functions repeat with the same frequency. They are perfect for capturing seasonal effects or any data with regular oscillations. The formula is k of x and x prime equals sigma squared times c, the negative 2 times sine squared of pi times the absolute values of x minus x prime divided by p all divided by l squared. You will want this kernel whenever your data shows cyclical behavior. Finally, we have the linear kernel, and as you can see, this simple kernel gives us straight lines with varying slopes and intercepts that extend infinitely in both directions. The formula is k of x and x prime equals sigma b squared plus sigma squared times x minus c e times x prime minus c. E. This kernel is ideal when you suspect your data follows a linear trend or when you want to capture global trends in combination with other kernels.